Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Mike, thank you so much. He actually mewed some beer for me, so I got a big nice box, thank you so much dude. Uh yeah, it's great. Sometimes people offer, uh, to, you know, to, to meal beer, but this one I uh, had a hard time turning down. So uh, this is Degard. So Degard is one of the most hyped, one of the most important, one of the best regarded sour breweries in the country, and they're out of Tillamook, Oregon. So pretty much you take Portland, Oregon, and then you go all the way west, you go through the forest, and then you hit the water to basically the middle of nowhere. <laughs> And you build a brewery there. So they're a brewery uh, all about location. So their location uh, drives their beers because it's a spontaneous brewery. The microflora, they're spontaneously inoculating their wort and creating beer out of that. So uh, what do we have here? This is the creek. So this is a spontaneous uh, wild ale Asian oak barrels with Morrency and Morello cherries, 7%. And uh, yeah, got it open. Uh, corking on top. Let's dig into it. So first off, the beer is beautiful. I mean, look at that color. Pours out a little reddish pink, but in the glass, it has this like garnet kind of color to it. Uh, it has a little bit of pinkish hue, purple, red, really rich. I, I don't remember the last time I saw a cherry beer that looks like this, and it has this beautiful lightly kind of pink head on it. And I want to say I just saw a little fleck of fruit in there. Huh, I don't know. Cheers. Yeah, I, th I feel like there's like a little fle flecks of fruit in here. Cheers. Mm. So it's spontaneous, but it has a little hint of that Belgian funky rusticity, a little bit of that cheesiness kind of thing going on. But instead, it's mostly just like beautiful, sharp acidity. I get that yogurt note because anytime you throw some fruit with some uh, really nice, sharply driven acidic notes, I just think of like yogurt. Um, so I get the laxic sourness along with that kind of... Um, it's, it's, it's funky cherries. I, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's like... Uh, uh, cheese and cherries somehow mixed together and they do make those like where you have like cherries inside the cheese I think I think that's the thing <laughs> you guys correct me if I'm wrong but it smells like da dairy and cheese together it's not pure pure jammy uh, cherry notes so you're getting this kind of uh, complexity of like okay this is gonna be probably a, a wild beer that's been aged for a certain amount of time instead of a kettle sour which is quick and fast like pu pure uh, pour some juice juice in there this is like really nice and complex the yeast has really gotten to and the bacteria have really gotten to play with the fruits and the sugars in there and really convert it so cheers oh wow wow so first off this beer is dry very very dry bone dry i'd be very curious to find the gravity of this beer but the final gravity of this beer First impression, um, <laughs> it reminds me of like champagne. It's lightly acidic. It has light, like barely any sweetness actually, but it's super highly carbonated, like hit, like tingles the back of your throat. And it has a little bit of that kind of, uh, it just reminds me of champagne. It's dry, it's sparkling, it's a little bit fruity. It's like, uh, it, it, the fruitiness, it's like Martinelli's if it was really dry. There is even a little bit of that apple flavor because there's that light acidity up front. So even though it smelled very acidic, uh, this beer is actually only medium to medium plus acidic. Also, it's not that fruity. So what I was getting on the nose was sourness and fruit. Instead, uh, the fruitiness here is like this nutty uh, marzipan note, uh, maybe some almond. Um, there's also, instead of like big juicy cherries, it's the complexity of the fruit. There's, there's like, hmm. You know what? A lot of vineyards character. The wine, the uh, the barrel character is coming through. Uh, it's almost like making a like a cherry wine sauce. So instead of having like bursting cherry flavor, it's been reduced. It's been cooked down. So you're really getting complexity here. Uh, but yeah, it's it really isn't that uh, fruity, nor is it that sour. Really, what I'm getting is just this wonderful light funkiness in there. A little bit of sour, dry, 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 wine character, champagne character, carbonation, boom, boom, boom. Those are the things that are hitting uh, for me. So instead of getting like, oh man, this is a great like cherry juice bomb and oh, super sour. This is sort of like, oh wow, this is like nice and pretty and little and complex and it's, all, it's also 7% and it's so dry. So this really drinks more like sparkling wine than it really drinks like, to me, sour beer. And, and there are some of those um, overlaps, but this one to me is like really uh, like, sparkling wine character uh, to it honestly blown away um i just love how dry it is it's so it's so drinkable there's no problem 
of trying to drink one of these because uh, you're not going to want to share it. So this is where the beauty of sour beer can be. Uh, there's some impression ones, and it happens to hazy IPAs as well, where you want a uh, four-ounce pour. It's very sour. It's very fruity. It, it impresses you. It does what it does. This one is just like pretty, pretty, pretty and dry. This reminds me of the Hill Farmstead beers and why I like them so much, uh, the, the, the Farmstead beers at least, because they just are drink drinkable beers. It, it is beer at first, and then, you know, impression and flavor. Because this is a beer they just want to enjoy. It's not something you have to worry about, like, oh man, that's so sour. Or like, oh man, that's so fruity and sweet. Um, this is just a wonderful combination of just uh, the characteristics of the bacteria and the yeast, and um, just having the, f and the fruit really does so much more on the aromatics and the color than it really does to what experience sensory wise on your palate. So this beer is, uh, I've had some great Degard beers before, but this is like, really really good this is 98 let's get 98 for me this is the creek um enjoy this one this is so freaking good um, yeah what else can i say about it i've had some again great to amazing amazing beers from a this has to be one of my favorites this has to be one of my favorite sour beers of the year until next time guys cheers later